Hi everybody, it's Tim. Welcome back. I have not posted in a while and I'm sorry about that. I've been posting a lot on Instagram and if you wanna see what I've been up to all summer long, that's probably the best place to go to. It's under the same name that I have for here. So please go there, check me out, follow me there and you'll see what's going on. So anyway, I am floating in my pool right now. It is September 3rd. It's really, really nice out. Sorry, I'm moving stuff in front of the, I'm floating here. So it's beautiful out. We finally have some summer weather here in New York. It has not been warm in New York. I know if you've been, even if you're not in the United States and you're in Europe or someplace else, you know that it's been a really hot year for the United States, but not in New York. In fact, August, I don't even think we got above 90 degrees Fahrenheit at all. I, it's just been a really cold, cool, rainy summer, but now it's September 3rd and it's really nice out and I think tomorrow is. So it feels like summer today, so that's why I'm in the pool. As you can see, my trachycarpus, that's one of my males, is right behind me. I'm gonna float, this, it's a floating tour. Uh, there is my yucca ristrata, and then moving on some musa bastu, my bananas, there's my female trachycarpus, big one. There's some seeds on it that I'm gonna collect this fall. Some of my figs. Uh, and over there, kind of my, one of my Washingtonias that I grew from seed and then one of my other trachycarpus. And I'll try to swing around this way and show you more from the pool side here. So there's some of my bamboo. And you can see my hillside and the hillside I haven't really talked that much on YouTube about it, but it's really hard to garden there. It is steeper than it looks. I have fallen down it several times. It's really hard to dig holes. I would like to put some palm trees up there. Uh, I have not yet, but it's just carting all the stuff up to cover them in the winter time is a bit hard, uh, but I think I'm going to. I've got one trachycarpus on the, on the hillside. I've got more up by the koi pond up by the house, but uh, that's an idea. And then you can see my largest Washingtonia is right behind me there. Really happy with how that's doing. I kind of ease in here and show you. It's getting really big. It's, it's probably a good, uh, it's probably a good five foot tall trunk with the leaves or the fronds going way, way above that. But I'm really happy with it. That I got from fast growing trees. And then you can see further on, I have some plumerias. One of my mule palms is over here, my monkey puzzle. And then behind that large vase over by the pool shed is my sad, sad sable palmetto that did not make it. I tried, I tried really hard. If those of you have looked at my YouTube videos before know that it had a hurricane cut, which is not what I wanted, not what I ordered. They gave me a deal and said they would guarantee it and then um, that didn't quite work out as often those deals do so it's gone so I am going to be searching for a sable palmetto in the spring I may have to go get one myself because nobody seems to have them up here and then if I can't get what I want then I won't buy it but yeah sad about that very very sad so that's a goner but anyway I just wanted to give a short little update this is the lower garden obviously uh, there's a whole lot more up by the house and I will try to do that in the next couple days, but I need to go back to being in the pool. So please like and subscribe. I hope I'll talk more about what I'm doing with all of these and I, you know, that dreaded word of winter, I have to start thinking about that even though it's still summer here. So anyway, thank you for watching.